So let's go for a run with the Archer character now, Kitha. And not only do I need to survive for 15 minutes and evolve the starting weapon, also need to break the seal of the gate, specifically with this character. Well, I assume it refers to the crystal, obviously. So uh, hopefully all of those three achievements will be done by the end of it. And uh, I think I'll use uh, one weapon run. I think if I would need to like use a six weapon, I would build it around uh, Slash Arcana. So the same way that my previous run went pretty much. And since I just did it, I guess I'll just go like for one weapon this time. So, um, obviously, like, for Scarry, and then I have no idea if it's strong enough or not to handle Inverse, so let's just go for a normal mode. Can always make it more difficult if it is strong enough, so let's start like that. And, um, since it's a one-weapon run, let's go for Silent Old Sanctuary. So what do you do? Whoa. That's not particularly strong. <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now, I'm not impressed. Oh, okay, yeah, that's actually... No, that's, that's okay. That's okay. That's some range, at least. So, definitely empty toe. Um, and yeah, okay. That's... I see. So, it's all about timings. Tiragisu might be... Might be quite necessary, actually. So, I think you need Clover and Bracer to evolve this, but they do exist on the map already, so I don't really, like, need to take it yet. Crown is also there. I don't really need anything else, I'm really thinking about Tiragisa at the moment. I think I should go for it, because... yeah... Yeah, I don't know, surviving this might be rough. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Empty tome, please. At least if I, like, am able to max it a bit quicker. Duplicator. Does it even work? Probably should. Is it, all, is it like, uh, several projectiles in line? Or does it increase the reach of it? The angle. I mean, I don't see any reason not to take it. Yeah, let's just go for it. I don't see any difference. The angle is the same. I don't know, man. I mean, obviously, more flash arrows, sure, but... Yeah... I, I get the idea, I think, but... Some revivals will be needed at this point, I suppose. Um, Just a regisa for now. Just let's uh, make sure that... Survival is happening, and then we'll see about it. Oh yeah, I think I get the idea of what I'm supposed to do there. Just need to turn back, like, every time the shot is about to happen. And then, uh, run through them. And collect the gems. It gets better. It gets better at this point. Still need more empty tomes, though. Cooldown reduced is good. I'm not even sure if Duplicator does anything. Maybe not. Should probably just upgrade that. Cooldown reduce is a big deal. Ooh, this is rough. So, is this the last revival? Yeah. I don't know, actually. Definitely empty tome, but even then... Okay, so what can I do there? I can go into the corner right there, for example. But it doesn't really save me. Well, well, okay, let's restart, obviously, but... Huh. Huh. It's not easy.
I need to not waste those uh, arrows. Ideally ever. I mean, I guess it should be just flesh arrows and um, empty tomes. For now at least. That's how we survive, maybe. I don't know. Well, I can get spinach, but that doesn't really save me. Tergiza should be done. Duplicator doesn't even do anything as far as I can see. Maybe it will do something later, but... Let's get Teragisa though. Kinda necessary. And as many empty tomes as I can. Region? Is it good enough? Maybe. Um, really though, should just get no. I think the idea would be to get empty tomes though. That is what really needs to happen. And yeah, and last level for empty tome. Kinda necessary, and then we go for all of the other things. It's just such, uh, makes such a big difference there. Still not very survivable though, that's the issue. Hmm. Okay, one more uh, level of arrow. Unless, like, you get one more arrow, one more direction to shoot at, maybe, at some point. I don't really see how you can survive with those given starting stats. Like, you can go for a different arcana, then it would be okay. But... Huh. Even if it's, like, big enough rate of fire, it's still not really good enough. Area is just not good enough. Well, let's uh, change the starting conditions a bit, and let's actually start at inverse. It might seem weird, but the idea would be... ...to actually start with two arcanas, because damage is not the problem there. But, um... Where's the merchant? Where's the merchant? Where? Where? But where? Wait, what? Where? Okay. So yeah, get the all of the rerolls. Might as well. And then get the Arcana. So Arcana would be awake, I'm pretty sure. Kinda need to if I want to survive there. Yeah, more revivals and then, you know, get some stats from there. But that's still not good enough, though, that's the issue. And just go for empty tomes. Need those rerolls. Yeah, and just go for empty tomes for now. Um... One Tiragisa would be fine, though I can get it later, but... Okay, okay, can uh, get it now as well, that's okay. The good thing about Awake is that if uh, I can get to level 30, then there would be Academy Badge as well, and you know... You can actually use that to get more revivals, so... Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you should just complete the empty tome as quickly as possible, because uh, don't really need more damage yet. Actually, kinda do need more damage. Well, one more level of flash arrow then. Uh, 
and empty tome. Were there any gems? Some, okay. Spinach? Yeah, sure. At this point, might as well. Kinda also need damage. Wait, the good news about Awake is that I can, like, um, move a bit more deliberately to try to kill more enemies. While I will take more damage, but, like, with Awake and with Revivals and with, uh, bonus armor from that and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I can always get Teragisu if I need to, so just go for Spinach for now. Uh, Teragisu will probably happen later. Less empty tome. Now, here's the question. Do I just go for different passives immediately? Like, okay, so I need Toronto's box, right? Maybe Duplicator? Like, at least it should work probably with the Evolved version of this. What about Wings? Wings might be really good. Let's say Wings. Let's say... Taronas? Maybe. Well, Taronas probably, yeah. And then Duplicator? Or Pomarola, or... Um... Yeah, I'm not sure Duplicator does even uh, work well. Even if it does, it's a one-weapon run, so I would be able to get a lot of projectiles regardless. It should work. It should work, though. Doesn't the Academy badge that this character specifically gets has a mount on it? So that means that Duplicator should also work, no? So, okay, so let's say Duplicator, Toronto's box, wings. And then the point is, can just immediately go around the map after that. Like, for example, can get to that Arcana immediately after that. And I think this is better than just evolving the main weapon. Because, you know... Region is also... Kinda relevant, but I'm okay with dying. Dying is not really the problem. It will just be used for a week. So, yeah, just get Tarona's box. Just get the passives, okay? That's the idea. So, just get the passives. That's not really the passives that I'm looking for, though. Area... No, I really need wings, I think. Need to actually collect the stuff from uh, around the map. Or do I? Mm, yeah, maybe. I don't really think area is better, though. It depends on the weapon that... I'm not even sure. Does it work? It might be really strong, potentially. Okay, it might be better. Sure. Like, if it works, that's incredible, but I'm just not sure if it does at all. And then Duplicator. I kinda need it. I kinda need it. Kinda need it? I shouldn't uh, reroll anymore, because I still need rerolls for... Arcana. In fact, I should have uh, shouldn't have done that much in the first place. Well, let's just wait there, I guess, until uh, Duplicator is there, and then we'll see about it. Oh yeah, it actually gets base area up. On the previous level, it got base area up, which means area should help. So yeah, area is probably a good idea, though. Now, oh, level 2 Teragisu is fine. What about the Duplicator, though? I mean, if I have to pick something... No, it should be Steel Candelabrador, I think. Sure. Torona doesn't do enough. Level 8, I suppose. Max the cooldown. How many revivals do I have? Okay, 4, and that's with Max Tiragiso. So, 
Before I go for like Arcana and stuff like that, I really need to collect this clover. Because I'm not sure I'll be able to return for it later. The map might get a bit too difficult. So, yeah. Need to get the clover and then also get the crown, probably. Ten more levels, by the way, until the Academy Badge. So, should be able to, like, survive until there with my revivals. Yeah, just go for the spinach, sure. Aha, uh -huh, that's fine. Spinach or Yesteria? Area, probably. It's not really about damage at the moment. Just about AoE. And maxed area? And finally, Duplicator. Okay, so let's go for the Clover. That's kind of important. It's just, it's a lot of XP. I don't really want to run around the map currently. I would really like to just stay in place and farm XP. But, yeah. While I can, still should get those items from the map. Kind of important. So, get the Clover. Then, should also get the crown. Well, actually, should get those little clovers, probably. It's not too far. Maybe actually a bit of a waste to go for them. It's just, uh, I will get slash arcane at some point, And uh, luck is relevant for crits. So. Oh, by the way, this is a good place. Oh, I can actually survive there, huh? Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, even if they damage me, I can just still survive because of those free chickens or pies from semis. That is a plan, actually. Like, if I can't survive anymore, can just go there. I should have enough armor from my... a weeks to, um... You know? To stay in the middle of them, and then if I kill at least some of them, at least sometimes, that should be good enough to get me some HP back from chickens. Or pies, rather. Okay, uh, can get the locket, maybe. Do I need to? I don't know. Maybe not. How do I get to it? Wait, that's complicated. No, let's, let's not get the locket. Whatever, just get out. How do I get into that cave? Wait, what? Wasn't there supposed to be an entrance? No, 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 that's correct, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I remember now. Um, so I definitely should get the armor while I'm there, though that's definitely not my goal, but no reason not to. And then just leave the sign for now. I can't really handle the Guardian yet, so yeah, I should leave it for later. Oh, by the way, I left my Academy badge there. God damn it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll uh, I'll need to return for it, I think. Yeah, I should go for Arcane at this point, and then I'll return for it. It's not that big of a deal, anyway. Like, it just gives me more revivals, but I have enough revivals, so... Just more revivals, more... amount of projectiles, but like... I'm not even sure it does anything, so... whatever. Bracer also. Also should get. Yeah, at some point I'll be able to.
And then I think um, should also get the silver ring. But I think first of all should uh, collect my academy badge. But of course even before that, Arcana. That's the most important part. Divine Bloodline. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Rero? Okay, so God Slash. Healing might be okay -ish, I guess. But uh, Slash is probably the best there. Definitely should get it, especially with like one reroll left. Wait. So, uh, yeah, before we go for like silver rings and stuff like that, I think should collect my academy badge. And uh, we'll need to backtrack somewhat for that. Gold fever. Okay, I'm not really a big fan of this mushroom place. Can't really kill them much. So, I don't think I can, like, return to my uh, starting location without going through that cave. So, I guess I have to return to it. I think so. So how many revivals is this? Three more. There will be, I think, three more from the Academy badge as well, so six more revivals in total. But yeah, the idea is, if it gets bad, I can just go for semis farming. Yeah, I'm definitely not strong enough for Tronus Box level 9, so banish. Now the next question is... Is a left sign strong enough to actually level it up? Because I can go for it, like HP and region is okay, but is it actually good enough? Or would I just rather like level up my weapon? Probably not. Leveling up the weapon usually doesn't do that much after a certain point. Uh, just get like Bracer maybe? Actually, should um, max my bracer for sure, because you probably need them fully upgraded for the weapon evolution. I'm not exactly sure, but I would assume so. I think that's the case. Yeah, okay, now that that's done, let's collect the chest, though I'm pretty sure it just would be some random stuff. Doubt it will be any evolutions. Where's the chest? Okay. Yeah, no evolutions, I think. Levels are good, though. And I think I will go for the sign, after all. And probably immediately after that, for the silver ring as well. So the sign is... Outside of the cave, is it? I see, okay. Yeah, so get this one. And uh, die, apparently.
Oh, that's the curse one. <laughs> that's not the right sign. I should just banish it I, then, I suppose. Well, not sure. It's not really a problem yet. It's okay. It's okay to have it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, but... Yeah, but it's a bit of a problem, though. A bit of a problem. It's the inverse version of the map. So... I was accustomed to the left sign being good, but... This sign was on the left and it was not good. Just because of the inverse. Do I banish it? Before, like, I get more chests. Probably. No, no, actually, you know what I should do? I think I should just do Academy Badge. Then, like, kill one of the bosses, which should spawn, like, I hope, relatively soon. And then, after I upgrade my weapon, we'll see. Like, we'll see how strong it is. Because if it gets much, much, much better, I can actually just leave it. And just upgrade it, potentially. And if it doesn't, then yeah, then I can banish it. We'll see how it goes. But the idea is I can just skip for now. Until, like, I have enough info to decide. One way or the other. Where are the bosses? Where am I going anyway? Oh, actually, well, first of all, that's a boss. Arcana. I mean, not really. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chest is there. That is an evolution. Let's see how that works and also should collect the Arcana. Yeah. Evolved flash arrow fires additional projectiles based on amount and when picking up gold coins. Really? Okay. Whoa! Wait, that seems strong enough. Uh, not really necessary for any amounts in a one-weapon run, realistically. But then again, what do I get? What do I get, though? Yes, but what do I get, though? Realistically, not much. Honestly, Divine Bloodline is uh, pretty good. I should actually probably get that because of the character gains bonus damage depending on missing health. Like, I can never basically get more than half of my health unless I get chickens. So yeah, as I get killed, I'll get stronger, and that by itself might be good enough. Sure, I'm in. And yeah, I think I will actually max the right sign. Maybe I should not go for the left sign anymore then. Because Divine Bloodline is honestly probably... Good enough. I'm not sure even about those chickens, actually. Okay, well... Do I need anything? Probably silver ring. Yeah, I'll max this uh, sign, but I don't think I'll be collecting gold ring or the skull. That might be a bit too much. So, I think the idea would be that I just stay low and not collect those chickens. Because I get bonus damage. That makes sense. Are you even killable? First one is dead. Well, probably should collect that chicken to the left. Still need to, like, retain some HP. Don't really want to lose all of it. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do just want to die a couple of times. Though, on this map, actually, minute 28 gets rough. Not like I need to survive until the very end, but it gets rough later, so... I kinda might need those revivals for that time. Okay, yeah, so the Guardians are done.
And I guess let's just go and break that crystal. I mean, even if I, like, die immediately, I still have a lot of revivals, so... I don't know about the chicken. I think I should just leave it for later. Or never, really. Area or speed? Area? Yeah, speed doesn't seem necessary. And I will actually need a lot of might. I think might is the priority there. Whoa. The timer stopped. What's that all about? So, is that a new run? If it's the same type, I think I should just go for a week. Like, regardless. I have no idea. What is the conditions? Am I starting with one weapon? Because a week is the best thing in general. But, like... I mean, okay, let's, let's just go for Silent Old Sanctuary again and see how that goes. Oh, this is, uh... What is happening? That's my things, no? Probably, like, all of the things. I have no idea. Just get the stuff. I don't actually need that. <laughs> uh, okay, so pick a card. Rerolls. Sure. And then a week, I guess. Yeah, okay. Rerolls. Flash arrows. Uh, area? There should be area around there somewhere. Should actually just go for... No, 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 no. I can get all of that stuff, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. No, 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 Should just go for Empty Tome, if possible. That's kinda important, game. Game? Game. That's kinda important. Okay, thank you. Yes? Let me... Yes, but... Am I sure... There is Clover and uh, Bracer on this map. I'm not sure at all. I can't see them. I can't see them. Like, are they there? But do I really want to discard Spinach? No, I, I have to discard this and I have to make sure... Yeah, there is Clover. Okay. So, the problem is now I'll need to get... I'll need to get a level up, and I need to get spinach normally. That needs to happen. Okay. I need to pick this, because then I'll be able to get all of the rest. Okay. Well. That's a lot of stuff. And then just flash arrows. So, what is happening? Let's just get some upgrades, maybe, from this map. How do you even get there? I don't know. Where am I going? Good questions. Well, I still have a lot of revivals, so like... Awake will be in play. Same as before. Um, Probably not crowns. Well, actually... Might as well, I guess. Okay, so this way I can probably get to crowns at least. Actually shouldn't pick up any more crowns for sure. I can get them from the ground, so... It's a bad idea. To waste skill points on them. Are you a boss? Empty tomb? I don't know. Can't really stay there though. Well, I can. I can. But I'll die. Which might not be even a horrible idea. If you think about it. Real? Mm. Just get like one point of armor. It's okay. Whoa. Whoa. Can I run away? Yeah.
so... Okay, I see. They're pretty much stationary, more or less. So, can actually avoid them, and kind of have to avoid them. Because they just kill you very quickly. So I'm pretty sure that's a weapon, and I'll have to collect it. Because, uh, you know, that might be something unlockable. Empty tome. Is there one more empty tome? Yes. But it's so far. It's so far. Yeah, I don't know about it. I think I will have to just level up the empty tome normally. Just flash arrow for now. Um, there is armor. Relatively nearby. I'm not sure what is the point for this area. Like, am I supposed to collect the... Um, the weapon? Or... Well, I'm not actually sure if it's a weapon. Technically, it could be a passive. I definitely saw it in one of the Arcanas, though. But it still doesn't necessarily mean it's a weapon. Yeah, I'll just get Empty Tome. It's too far. Too far. Can't really get the... Attracted the Guardian already. Ooh, not happy about this. I think I should still ignore the Silver Ring. And just proceed. Yeah, ignore everything else. What is this? Do I die if I go there? What is happening? I don't know, but... I don't know. I mean... I can just go there randomly and, like, try to survive just from my revivals. I'm a bit worried about this boss guardian following me. Not happy about that. Yeah, level 8 flash arrow. Yeah, so the problem is... If this guardian follows me... Yeah, he can just kill me immediately like this, pretty much. Yeah, thank you for the demonstration. And... Uh, not happy about that. So, let's go for revivals now, because... It gets a bit rough. I would like to get my weapon evolved, if possible. One more Guardian. That's bad. Shouldn't have uh, stayed around this area. Should have just went away immediately. So I can't really get anything else in the near future. So she just try to get stronger. Can I even get stronger? Haven't seen a single chest so far in this area. All of the Guardians, huh? All of them. Well, can still get one revival from Tergiso. That's the boss. Yes, but I shouldn't collect the chest. In fact, what I should do, I should uh, evolve or fully upgrade the clover and the uh, bracer. And then pick up the chest. Because who knows? With this kind of a very, like... Unusual map, it could be like the only chest on it. You know? No idea, so... Should be a bit more careful about that, just in case. I assume the time limit for 30 minutes is still in play, maybe? Also, that is probably the Abyss or something that I was supposed to unlock from completing the achievement. Yeah. But I have no idea, like, what is the time limit for this map, so that doesn't really tell me anything. It might still be 30 minutes or it might be lower. No idea. Mm. Three more Bracer upgrades. Tragisa probably. And just spinach or reroll. Reroll. 
Реле не дат Брейса. Well, realistically, maybe I don't even need that Brace. It probably doesn't do anything, most likely. Spinach? Because I highly doubt this chest is evolution chest. Probably not. Reroll? No. Should save those rerolls for Arcanus. Kinda important. Okay, Academy Badge, so I can just pick it. It's just well, like one level to my existing Academy Badge. Brisa for sure, and let's get it, and let's not get hit anymore, please. That is a boss again, right? Brisa, please, and let's actually collect that now. That is an evolution, that's good. Now, the next step in the plan is to kill those Guardians, I think. That would be the idea. And then we can proceed exploring the map once the Guardians are dead. Because I can't really, like, move forward while they're alive. Or I'm just risking dying in, like, some random spot if I can't see anything. Though, maybe, like, you soon get to the area where you can see surroundings once again, but who knows. So, Taranos box. Okay, let's get Taranos box to level 8. By the way, shouldn't there be, like, one more Guardian? Yes, there definitely should be, so I just left it behind somewhere, like, at the... At its starting location. Don't really want to bother it yet. I'll just let it stay there. Yeah, definitely banishing Tarona's box. Can still get some signs and rings if I want to do it, but... Not exactly sure about this map yet. Good. Now... Can I just proceed? Or should I... Hang around. I think I can try to proceed. I think my next goal is to get to 15 minutes. Maybe even before I pick up that orb thing. Because uh, one of the achievements is to survive for 15 minutes. And I didn't actually do that uh, at Lake Foscari, so... I don't think there is a path. Really? Huh. Well, I think I attracted the Guardian, so... Kinda need to kill it. Well, there is some time to figure it out. In case there is anything to figure out. In case, like, I need to do something special. Well then, amount, yes. Critical chance, yes. And then I think in this choice I'll just go for might normally. If there is a choice. Because I might need that extra DPS. Are you just a normal boss? Yeah, seems like it. Okay, so what is happening? This is a corner, I'm pretty sure. And... Huh. Well, yeah, that was a place. Couldn't I have gone, like, down from there? Maybe that's a thing. I 
I haven't been there before, right? Or maybe I've started. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's the wall. And I can't really proceed through there. Potentially could get like a lot of movement speed and possibly like glitch out through the walls. That would be one thing that I could be doing. I don't see anything special. You know, I should probably can't actually get there, right? Yeah. I should probably explore the corner while I'm in there. Hello. Well, you're unpleasant. Not really that damaging, though. So, I kinda need my Slash Arcana now. Can I see the crit chance somewhere, by the way? No, I don't think so. It's just uh, character stats, not weapon stats. Amount? That's a lot of levels, by the way. Okay, I assume it will, like, stop at 100% uh, crit chance anyway. So, don't need to do anything special. Well, I'm pretty sure this place doesn't contain anything else, so just get back. And I don't even know... What is that? Did I fully explore the upper area? Or like, I guess it would be down area, if the map wasn't inverted. Well, let's kill you. Not that I need any chests, though. Yeah, actually. That seems like something that could lead to the orb. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Or does it? Yeah, I, I think that's the idea. Uh-huh. But the question is, should I actually collect it? You know, I think... Um, I mean, I will collect it, but... But... I think, first of all, I just will run around and just try to survive until minute 15. To ensure... Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I see. I see your point. Yeah, so I'll try to ensure that I survive until minute 15 to unlock the achievement. Try to at least. And then like... And then I'll go in and collect the thing. Or try to. I'm not even sure if it's possible to do so. I assume it's there somewhere in the darkness, but who knows. Okay, and Arcana. Slash, please. No, it has to be slash, I think. It has to be slash. I mean, technically, it's another, like, gold fever centered character. Potentially. Uh, so... Disco of gold is okay, but, like... I'm not even sure I'll be able to activate it that much anyway. So 
so. At least start with Slash. That is definitely worth it. How many revivals do I have, by the way? Four. Four more in total. Okay. I think at this point, might as well just go for the area. Well, I mean, I assume I'll not really be able to get to broken levels, so... Doesn't really matter that much. What's up with those things, anyway? They actually harm me. Oh. Does it summon Reapers if I kill them? That's weird. So, I didn't come from this direction, right? Well, maybe I did, actually. Yeah. Okay, I see. So it circles back. I'm still not sure how do you get to the place with Tronus box on this map. I don't really see any path there. By the way, did I even unlock this weapon? The Eskizibur. Like, can I actually get it as any other character? I don't exactly remember. Need to look at, uh, at it in my collection. I definitely... Well, that was a one weapon run, so I wouldn't... It wouldn't be offered, that's for sure. Okay, I think it's actually a good time to go for random. I don't think it really matters that much at this point. I'm not even sure, like, increasing amount does much. Because uh, there's only a limited amount of projectiles from a certain weapon, I think, that can be on the screen. And we might have reached that point already. Not exactly sure, but I think so. Might be the case. So will I get another achievement for the new crystal? Because there was nothing so far. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm pretty sure there was no achievement for the first crystal as well. Until, like, I got this character unlocked. So yeah, maybe it will be the same idea there. The bad thing about transferring to this place is that I can't really farm semis anymore. Oh, they turn to pots, those enemies. Yeah, uh, my, like, survival idea, the plan B was to farm semis, and I can't really do that anymore. That's unfortunate. Minute 15. Let's actually go and collect that orb if I can. It's right there. And no, I don't think I can get to it. Okay, so I guess the idea then that I should uh, use... 
well, other character to kill the crystal. And then I'll probably be able to get to it. At least I assume that's not a coincidence that the crystal is right there. Right beside this thing. So... I mean, I can hang around and see if something changes, but I don't think so. Yeah, okay. I don't think there are any passages. The only thing that could be um, happening there, like, if I can still unlock it, it would be maybe after some, for example, like, minute 25, sometime later, where I would be able to get to it and it would be unlocked all of a sudden. Probably not the case, though. Most likely it's just the crystal thing. So, does it matter where I stay on this map? There is, like, nothing, right? Pretty much. I think so. I think I can get the skull at least for now. Or can I? I can't really kill them that well, but I think skull is okay. I think I should still not be too far from the place, because there's still a chance that I could get the weapon. I would need to find the candy box at some point, but potentially that could still happen. Like, if I can find the candy box, I could still get the weapon to break the crystal and then, you know, we're golden, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, but... Yeah. So I shouldn't, like, go too far from it. Are you an Arcana boss? Not yet. So what's my last Arcana is supposed to be? Should probably just go for Disc of Gold at this point. 
then I should also leave this coin back for later. Yeah, they seem killable so far, so... Disc of Gold should be fine. There is no, like, Arcana drop yet. No. So, no to all of those. Reroll one. Might not be able to get it. Well, let's see how it goes. So, reroll. Yeah, no. No. Madgrove. <laughs> well, that <laughs> bypasses the crystal. <laughs> that actually is uh, probably the right idea there. I mean, okay, okay, let's uh, actually do that. That sounds interesting. And collect all of that. Tunnel's box probably not, though. And there is the orb. Okay, let's actually collect this. Prismatic missile generates explosions around the character. Affected by the first chosen Arcana between 2, 14, or 19. Do I have any of those? No. No, I don't. Okay. I mean... I should actually probably just level it up now. Since I have it. I'm not sure if it unlocks it though. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I don't exactly remember how you add things to your collection anymore. I think you just, like, fully level it up, and that should be good enough, no? Just ignore the rings for now. So, yeah, let's uh, just level it up then, and then maybe it will be good enough already. I will still break the crystal at some point. I assume, like, that's what needed to happen to get to the orb, but... That's one way of getting it. Are you a boss? If you are a boss, yeah, you should drop the chest, and then maybe we can actually evolve it immediately. Yeah. Yeah, that is an evolution. Should have probably, like, upgraded the Attractor and Stone Mask to make sure that evolution would go through. In case it requires one of those things. Requires crown. Increase the value of gems and coins on the ground. Damn. Okay. Is there a character for that? Well, I guess you can always go for... If it's unlocked now, then you can always go for the big trouser. And just pick it immediately. That's one, one option at least. I mean, it's colorful, but I don't think it increases them that much. It is colorful, though. I like that. What I mean is, it doesn't increase them by a ridiculous amount, you know? It doesn't seem, like, crazy.
Uh, I should probably actually collect not the right sign. I don't think that's the best idea there, but left sign though. Yeah. So what was it? Was it that you get like more projectiles when you get coins? I assume it would apply to gold fever coins as well. I don't really see more projectiles. Though to be fair at this point it's like not very discernible obviously but I don't know. I suppose if like if there is a max limit of them already then... That wouldn't really matter anymore. What? 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 Minute 25. What is happening? No Reapers yet. Okay. Not very survivable anymore. Uh, I mean... There is nothing on the map, because I have mad groove, and like... I collected everything already. So... No point going anywhere. Still seems killable. So the previous map was uh, quite bad starting minute 28. We're close to that point on this map. Oh, is the candy box done? Yeah, it should be. I mean, might as well try to break the crystal, right? Already, like, have more than one weapon, so... Is it evolved, though? No. Can I evolve it? Like, I don't remember what it needs. I think armor was that, but one of those things. Uh, let's try it, I guess. I'm not sure it will be possible, though. Not a lot of time left, so... Where am I, even? I can't really even use the items for the vacation anymore. Because I got all of them already. I think it's there somewhere, though. No chests. Yeah, so that would be the crystal. Would still need to get one chest at some point. Oh, that's a boss. Well, the chest should be there after that. Yes, and now we just need to get it to level 8. What is happening? What? Does someone create that effect? Or is it, is it just because I'm uh, at a later portion of this map? And it just happens naturally. Or is it just my weapon? Actually, it is my weapon, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it evolved now.
Okay, and now let's see if we can do something about that crystal. Not sure. <laughs> Does it do anything? Whoa, yeah, 28 uh, minutes is rough. Not actually sure. I don't seem to be doing anything. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to survive, but... There was a time stop. That helps. So, can just go get some chickens? Well, can I? Can I really? I don't think I can get to that crystal. So, what do I do then? There's a chicken there somewhere. Two more revivals. One more revival. Are they even stronger now? They were plenty strong enough. Thank you very much. Already before that. Okay. Yeah. Will not be survivable until like minute 30. And the crystal is not really killable for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. Actually, actually the reason is probably um, that it's the same type of achievement. So, yeah, quit and uh, only two achievements. Wait a minute. What is the achievement for breaking the crystal? Really? Didn't I do it though? Wow, that's a lot of them. But yeah, mm, the same type of achievement, so you would need to, like, break it with a specific character, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's the case. So, um, I see, I see. So I need to go for that character specifically. But, 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 but the achievement was done, though, no? Why were there only two achievements? Oh, because it was, uh, for the previous map. Because I completed it on the previous map, and then I get teleported. That's the idea. Okay, well, uh, actually, I just wonder how long is this map? Is it... Well, actually, I kind of know that. It's 30 minutes. Yeah, okay. I see. Well, uh, we'll explore it in the next video. And for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.